Hey guys, this is Puka back with another bad deck breakdown. This time around, we're going to be doing my surprise deck, which is actually my favorite one. Uh, as you can see, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different types in this deck. So it's going to be a lot of fun. And well, let's just jump right into it. Alright, so the goal of this deck is to catch your opponent off guard with many, many surprises. So you can see. We have a bunch of just random Pokemon. Now this might look like a normal electric deck. Uh, this deck probably isn't as bad as the others are. I mean, this is actually a somewhat legitimate deck because it has electric. But let's take a look at it nonetheless. So the first surprise is that we're going to be running one of every type of Tynamo. So we have one Charge Beam, one Spark, one Thunder Wave, and one free retreater. <laughs> so this will catch your opponent off guard by the fact that you have one of each Tynamo. Uh, then we will go to this electric, the one that has Shock Bolt, not the Dynamotor one. So you could really catch your opponent off guard if you evolve to this electric and Shock Bolt, very shocking ironically, uh, to do 80 damage. Uh, so this deck is just all about, you know, we're not running the best Pokemon. But it's all about having fun, and maybe your silly cards can end up winning you the game. Clearly the, the heart of the deck is electric, Dynamotor. Everybody should know what this does by now. Uh, you get an, a lightning energy back from your discard pile. Attach it to one of your, your bench Pokemon. And yeah, it's just your energy acceleration. It allows you to do pretty much everything. So I run three of these. It used to be four until I included the bad electric. But there's that, and then our first real surprise comes with Electros. Now, most people just do not play Electros. I mean, why would you? Electric is better. <laughs> the ability is just too good. You don't want to actually evolve. But in this deck, we will evolve. Uh, you have Suction Heal, which is not a very good attack at all. In fact, it's quite terrible. And Slurp Shakedown, which is also not very good. But every once in a while, you can get a few cheap prizes with Slurp Shakedown. Uh, you get to drag something up and do 60 damage. This has actually come in handy quite a few times now that Pokemon Catcher is kind of a limited resource. Junk Arm is gone. So, uh, being able to get a knockout and not have, having to waste a Catcher is very, very good. Uh, Slurp Shakedown, an expensive attack, but that's made up for with uh, Electric's Dynamotor. So you can power this thing up in no time. And you can just kind of drag stuff up. There's uh, plenty of stuff that can be knocked up by 60 or 60 damage. And you can even pick off like weakened things that your opponent just retreats. So Electros. And then we were on one of the other Electros as well. <laughs> so um, Wild Charge does 90 damage, tend to yourself. Acid can be useful sometimes. Overall, I mean, Electros, they're not great atta great attackers, but... They do have a massive 140 hit points, so they come in handy quite often. Electric is pretty fragile, but you evolve and you get 50 more hit points, so uh, this is actually a better Pokemon than you might think. You can power them up very quickly with Dynamotor and then just kind of evolve and do some solid damage. It's not overwhelmingly good, but not too many things knock this thing out in one hit, which is really the benefit of Electros. So there is our whole... Electros line. <laughs> I've ran, I've added basically just one of every single thing that this line could have. There's four different Tynamos, two different Electrics, and two different Electros. And we got them all. So let's move into, I guess, the attackers or the tech cards, however you want to view them. We have Shaman EX. Just Revenge Blast is very good. You can always catch your opponent off guard. Once they've taken five prizes, Revenge Blast actually does 180 damage, which is enough to knock out any EX. We have V Create Victini, just gives you another type, gives you a quick attacker for 100 damage. So there is that. It can knock out things like Registeel EX, which are very potent against electric decks. Then we have Thunderous, he's a mean looking dude. Um, really, this is just here for charge, give you a quick attacker. He's really not that much of a surprise, but uh, most people have moved on to Zekrom at this point, so. I said, nuts to Zekrom, we're using Thunderous. Uh, then we have Mew EX, which just, you never know what's going to happen with this thing. Versatile, it allows you to copy pretty much 
allows you to copy any attack in play, not pretty much, every attack in play. So, who knows what you can do with Mew, I run this instead of Mewtwo, because this is cooler. Uh, Terrakian, of course, is a, a big attacker in the format, it can knock out Dark Rise and that kind of stuff. So this is pretty straightforward, just drop it down and retaliate for a knockout. We have Rayquaza, which I have just added to this deck. Uh, it gives you coverage against Dragon-type Pokemon. And it's uh, kind of a surprise to have that in your deck because, well, Dragon Bolt just came out. <laughs> then we have Bouffalant to Revenge. This just gives you a Colas Attacker. It does 90 for 2, which is actually still very strong. I feel like Bouffalant is a very underrated attacker still. Uh, Revenge isn't the greatest, but there are plenty of situations where just doing 90 can help you out a lot. And then we have one of the other Bouffalant as well with Goldbreaker to just kind of round out our surprise attackers here. Uh, Boofer, of course, is a very good ability, and Goldbreaker is very good against EXs. So these are all of our surprise Pokemon that we have. Uh, as you can see, there are plenty of options for attackers. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 different attackers at any point. And you couldn't attack with all of them. Uh, oops, sorry, I forgot this electric. So that makes uh, one more attacker. All right. Uh, and you could always just attack with the Electric Ball as well. So those are all of our attackers for this deck. As you can see, you have plenty of options to work with. The Trainer is not too special. Uh, we have three Level Ball. That will help you search out your Tynamos and your Electrics. Nothing too fancy there. Uh, I play one plus power to catch people off guard, because this is not a, a highly played card anymore. Now the Junk Arm is gone. Plus power, it can still do a lot of damage though. Maybe retaliating against uh, a Dark Ride with an Eviolite, or, you know, even just. You'd be surprised how often 10 damage comes up. I've won a couple games with the plus power already. Uh, we have four Pokemon Catcher. Ooh, let's get the gold one in here. Four Catcher, standard in a pretty much every deck. Um, every competitive deck is going to run four Catcher pretty much. It's the best trainer we have. Uh, we have one Super Rod. <laughs> This is my biggest surprise at all, of all. It looks like an EXP share. Actually a Super Rod. This is a glitched card from Dragon Vault that they just kind of screwed up the art on. So it has the art of EXP share, but it's the Super Rod. So it's a Super EXP share rod thing. Anyway, uh, so we have that just to get some Pokemon back. To get your surprises back. And then we have 3 Switch, which is pretty standard. Switch is just kind of necessary with the electric, has two retreat costs, so you need to play those. One Tool Scrapper as a surprise as well. Maybe catch your opponent off guard. Um, good against Garbodor ducks and just getting rid of Eevee Lights in general. Four Ultra Ball, pretty straightforward. You just get your Pokemon. It also helps with Dynamotor. Uh, then for supporters, we have three Charon. Uh, a little light on supporters actually, but that's alright. We need room for surprises. So 3 Charon, um, 4 N, and then 4 Juniper. Uh, no random receiver or anything like that, just um, 11 supporters. It's probably not enough, might need one or two more. But for this deck, you know, bad decks, we usually cut back on supporters to add in all the fun tricks. And then of course we have a Sky Arrow Bridge, just because that works well for giving your Pokemon free retreat to abuse Dynamotor. So nothing too fancy on the trainers except for my super fancy EXP share rod. Super rod. It, it. Anyway, uh, let's go to the energy. We just have seven lightning. You know, usually you have more in the electric deck, but that's fine. We need to make room for our other energy types. But we do have seven of these bad boys. And then we have two double colorless. You know, usually you would have four if you're going to play these, but not too many of our attackers need them. Uh, actually, Electros is the one that needs it the most. So, we got two double colors just in case. These can also help you to retreat an electric if they get catchered out. So, they work in that regard as well. And then four Prism, these are kind of the heart of the deck. It allows you to attack with all of our special Pokemon. You know, we have Mew EX. You, it, we actually need these to attack with Victini, Shaman, Terrakian, pretty much all of our attackers. Uh, you only have four prisms, so you have to use them wisely. And that's just kind of what this deck is all about. Prism energy, it's great. Um, it just gives you all the options in the world. Most of these attackers only require one colorless energy. And then one specific type. So, 
we use lightning to fulfill the colorless energy requirement and then prism to fulfill the other cost. So these are your most important energy cards in the deck and then you need to get these in the discard pile to use Dynamotor. And then double colorless is just good. So that is going to wrap up the surprise deck. This is one of my favorites, uh, probably because it's actually competitive and actually has strategy involved. Um, it uses subpar attackers for the most part and just kind of uses the element of surprise in order to beat your opponent. Um, but man, I can't tell you the feeling that you would get if you dropped this down and won the game with a shock bolt or a headbutt. This is just... This is the definition of a bad card. When you have this one... Or this one. Hmm. I can shock bolt or get an energy back every turn. Uh, hmm. Uh, yeah, you're right. This one's better. <laughs> um, but yeah, this deck is a lot of fun. You should try it out sometime. It's not as good as the normal electric decks, but you'd be surprised how often you can catch people off guard with just Electros or Bouffalant or Shaman. You know, you can win a lot of games just by doing goofy stuff. So that's going to wrap up this Bad Deck Breakdown, folks. Thanks for watching. I am Puka, and I will be back with more soon.